Hey guys, hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to Veggie Centric. Let's turn this sucker around. Hold on, you guys get to take a look at my cute kitchen. Here we go. Hey everybody, thanks for joining, thanks for coming on in. I'm Lise from Lise on Life and this is Veggie Centric. And today we are doing um, a tool time episode. So we're going to focus on um, a new tool that I absolutely love. It is my spiralizer. Let me see if I can adjust this a little bit so you guys can see that bad boy. <clears throat> this is like my favorite new tool. Um, and we're going to get to learn a little bit about it, but let me introduce myself. My name is Lise. I'm from Lease on Life. You can find me all over social media as Lease on Life, L-E-I-S-O-N-L-I-F-E. -E. Um, and I'm a, a wife, a mom, a paralegal, and the queen of my fabulous kitchen. I am getting a new lease on life through my cooking and my running and overall self uh, health and love. Um, so what I want to do for you guys is to bring veggies to your table every meal, every day. Um, and this is one of the easiest ways to do that. So this thing is so awesome. Have any of you guys used a spiralizer before? Um, give me a pause up or some hearts. Hi, thanks for joining. Come on in. We are doing our tool time with Veggie Centric and we are going to be using a spiralizer today. So this one was um, a gift from my husband and my son because they know to buy me cute little gadgets for my kitchen. Um, and I believe, I looked at Amazon, they run about $30, 35 I think. Um, but so, so worth it. So if you're trying to, you know, get veggies, um, easy, easy, like, you know, we're trying to do quick and easy stuff here. And so, um, what I like to use this for actually is even for my lunches at work. Um, and you can easily mix them. Like, um, what I've got, well, I'll just, let's get started. Let me go ahead and show you guys. So the spiralizer has a bunch of different blades. So if you can see that. And the blade slides down in here. So I've already got one in here. And they come in different, so they'll, they'll make different sizes. So right now I'm using a zucchini. You see, he's a little thicker, so you're gonna get a little thicker um, zoodle. And then we've got a medium sized one. And then this one's super, super cute. And he kind of reminds me of like maybe an angel hair. Look at how long that guy is. He's so awesome. Um, so a little more like an angel hair pasta. So tonight, I actually like this one. I think he works better. What we're going to do tonight is mix him with, I've got my um, homemade spaghetti sauce that's left over. And this is super easy. So I had a late night at work. I had ended up working late. Didn't have a lot of time. The husband and son have already eaten. So I'm coming home to get myself a quick meal, quick and easy, right? So what I'm going to do, I've got my zucchini. I'm going to cut them in half because I just find that they're a little easier to work with. So I want a flat edge here, and then I'm going to cut this in because I want a flat edge on both sides, okay? So you're going to take him, and if you look on the spiralizer right here, there's a little um, kind of metal button, and you're going to stick the zucchini onto that, and then I'll turn him sideways so you can see what I'm doing. And then this has a bunch of little grip teeth on it, and that's going to stick into the other end of your zucchini, all right? Now there's a handle right here, and you're gonna hold that handle, and I'm gonna show you guys as we go. You're gonna hold that handle, and your zoodles are gonna come right out of there. Hi, welcome, thanks for joining. We are making zoodles today. These are the hot new thing everybody knows, right? Um, and they're so awesome and they're so easy and look at that like absolutely fabulous and fun and I do this because I don't eat pasta anymore boo hoo hoo but it is the way of my world um, but this makes it so that I can still enjoy my spaghetti sauce I make a really great homemade spaghetti sauce that I absolutely love um, and then I don't feel guilty so I'm gonna pull these little pieces out of here and then I'll show you that you're gonna back this guy off and this is like hilarious. 
your mom cooks oops i missed it i'm so much how much is the machine the machine i um, looked at it on amazon it's about running about 30 dollars which i think is a good investment if you're going to be using this a lot and i do i use my thanks for the hearts guys um i use this actually a lot i will even make like um this size and put in my salads um and today i'm just going to do a raw but you can cook these um in a pan you can bake them in the oven i mean all kinds of ways the same thing that you would do with any zucchini right you're able to use these for that um the only thing is that they are smaller they will cook a lot faster than like a big old round of a zucchini right so you take this guy out and you guys all know that I always save these. I put them in my freezer bag and I save all my ends to my veggies and I make a veggie stock every um, weekend. And that's what I use to cook. If I'm going to make a spaghetti sauce, I'll actually use my um, veggie stock that I make. All right. So we're going to pull out a couple of these guys. I also have this guy. Does anybody know what this is? This is my WTH. What the heck is that? I actually ended up cutting him because I wanted to show you guys how cute he um, spiralizes. But this is a parsnip. And so you can do the same thing with a parsnip. Now the parsnip has the um, hard skin on the outside. So you will have to um, get that all off of there. Right? So we're going to do that really quick. And I'll show you this guy. And a parsnip, um, I kind of think it has a little bit of a carrot flavor but more like a potato texture and I, I even smell like a little bit of celery in it um that may just be me but I love them it just adds a little bit of a different texture and a different flavor so I've gone ahead and peeled that guy I'm going to cut off my end it's hard to find a woman who cooks well these days oh no way come on well, you don't need a woman to cook well these days. You just need to learn how to cook for yourself, right? We can all do this. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna stick him on there. Now this guy's a little uh, tougher because he's a little harder. Okay, so we're gonna have to really push him through there. Let's see if we can see him coming through. Come on, dude. All right, there we go. There we go. He's coming. He's not working as well as my other one. There we go. Okay. I've got one. Yay. So for this one, um, I'm going to turn you guys a little bit. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and move this guy. And bring out my plate. So what I'm going to do, I'm not. I'm going to actually make spaghetti. So I am going to use my zoodles. Right, and put them on my plate and look at like how fun and bouncy they are. Okay, and I even have a little bit of my parsnips in there. I'm gonna steal this one too, because he's really cute. And just do a little bit of this. And so you can totally do this raw. You can cook them if you want. Um, what I'm going to add is I have just my leftover spaghetti sauce. So I always have spaghetti sauce in the house. Spaghetti made of what? Um, so these are zucchini. So I made them from a zucchini. We made zoodles. So zucchini noodles. Yeah. So it's like the, the big thing that everybody's doing. But I really love them. Like, I, I love it. I'll make this, actually. I will use the rest of this for lunch tomorrow. Um, so then I would just put a little bit of my spaghetti sauce on top of that. Right? I'm going to do a pinch you're hungry? Good! Go make some zoodles! <laughs> um, I'm doing a pinch of Parmesan, just a little bit, and a pinch of oregano, just to give it that little Italian flavor, right? So I'm going to let you guys all see how beautiful that guy looks. And I've got my fancy little napkin, and we're going to go ahead and give that a try. Cut myself just a little piece. And that's it, guys. Super, super easy. Get yourself some dinner if you're running late. Like I said, I mean, I was totally running. I worked late. Wasn't expecting it. The boys had already eaten, so I came home, and this is what we're having today. So 
I'm seriously like I really think you guys like should look into this if you're really trying to get more veggies um, on your table this is a really really easy one and like I said you can you can Cook these in a pan. I, you know, if you like to use a little butter or olive oil, maybe a little onion, garlic mixed in there. Um, you can bake them. Just basically replacing your noodles with these. Send some hearts for this how huh? awesome chef. Woo! Right on. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you learned something new um, with tool time with Veggie Centric, um, and you can get your zoodle on. Okay, I will talk to you all later. Don't forget, you can find me at Lease on Life. And you can also find um, my older periscopes. You're welcome. Have a good night. Thanks so much. Um, you can find my older periscopes on catch.me. It's K-A-T-C-H dot me. I did. Thanks. Awesome. Um, and I think I've told you guys before, I'm working on my blog. I'm getting that set up, so I'm a little behind on that sucker. Um, but we're going to get there, and I'll get it where I can post you guys some recipes, show the pictures, um, and stuff like that. So I'm getting there. You can actually also find my videos on YouTube under Lease on Life or under Veggie Centric. All right, guys, so I hope that you have a great rest of your evening, and I'll talk to you guys later. Asta.